really? Now I'm dropping things. Hey, Kim. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Y'all, it is early. Early, early. But I had to do it this early because we are fixing to get some really bad weather. And I need to be able to spray these cups. So, hey Priscilla. Hey Robin. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Patricia. I know it's early, so those that miss out can catch the replay. Hey, Crystal. Priscilla, I'm in South Carolina. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Michelle. I hope not, Kim, because I'm about sick of rain. Hey, Lori. It's supposed to really throw down the day, so I need to get these cups sprayed and prepped. So I figured I would hop on. Y'all were asking about the Elmer's glue cup. The file that I use, uh, yeah, Patricia, it's supposed to be bad all weekend. Um... The file that I use is not mine. It's one that I purchased. Um, I'm going to see if I can make one so you guys can have it too. Y'all, excuse my hair. This is called Got Work to Do, Don't Care. Yes, Michelle. I'm sick of rain. I'm going to give it a few minutes and let some people hop on. Because I know a lot of people are having trouble jumping on. Hey, Tamika. Um, Lisa, it was, um, uh, I'm trying to remember her name. I'll remember it, Lisa. I'll get it. I'll get the name for you. Hey, hey, everybody. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I prep my cup. I'm going to show you how I paint the cup. And then I'm going to show you how I do the, the glitter. Um, the epoxy is my regular epoxy method. Um, so I don't, I don't know that we'll cover that, but at least the basics of, you know, how I do it, taping off the cup and stuff. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Chandra. I'm trying to see if we have um, some people hopping on. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Tammy. I know a lot of people said. Oh, Kathy, last day of school. Hey, Felicia. Hey, Amanda. We have... Um, this is our last full week. Um, our last day is actually the 30th. Hey, Jasmina. Good morning, Laura. So, I'll go over 
what I'm using real quick while we're waiting on some people to hop on. Um, I am using the 20 ounce hog cup. Oh, wow. Y'all got out last Thursday? Yeah, we homeschool Michelle, so our last day is the 30th. Good morning. So I'm using the 20 ounce hog cup. I'm just going to give you like a little rundown of the supplies. You'll see it in the video though. So I'm going to use the 20 ounce hog cup. Hey Margie. I'm going to use black electrical tape. Okay. The of course, Mod Podge. Just as regular. Um, this is regular Mod Podge. Mod Podge. It's the gloss. Hey, Nina. Hey, Kim. Um, the Hey, Sandy, you got it. Okay, I was waiting on you. Okay, so the colors that I'm using are pumpkin. I don't know if you can see that. It's pumpkin by Recollections and glitz by Recollections. Hey, Bonita. Um, the other thing you will need is... Let me grab it. Maybe I should have my stuff together better than this, huh? My kids this morning were giving me a crash course... Um, in YouTube, how to do YouTube, because I made a YouTube channel for the cups, and I sent for, you know, all things Tumblr related, and I made the YouTube channel because a lot of people say that they can't, um, hear me in the replay. So, I'm trying to figure out how to get my videos, if I can take my live videos from Facebook and upload them to YouTube. I don't think that I can, but I am going to start using the YouTube channel simply because I want you guys to be able to hear me. It's not going to help if you have to read my lips. And I've never been a good lip reader, so. Um, this is the sandpaper. It's 120 grit. This is what I use. Yeah, Brenda. It's very interesting, to say the least. Nicole, will you help me after this live? Will you help me do that? Will you show me how to do that? Nicole, if you can help me, I will love you forever. Because it's a ton of videos. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Um, but this is 120 grit sandpaper. Uh, let's see what else you need. You need your epoxy. You need your tape, your Mod Podge. Um, so, um, howdy, Michelle. So, I'm going to show you how I get started. I'm going to show you how I prep my cups. So I'm just going to dry sand this. Good morning, Peggy. So I'm going to take you with me to the kitchen sink and turn you around so you can see. I don't mean to be all up in your face, but I'm going to show you how I do it. See if I can sit you down so you can see. Okay, I'm going to turn you when you can see. You can, Kathy, if I do a live, you can still comment. From what I've been told, you can still comment. So, all right. So, I'm going to see if I can bend you down here at the sink so you can see. All right. So, when I prep my cups for spray paint, I just dry sand them. I don't wet sand these cups. I only wet sand when it's already got epoxy on it. And I wet sand... For two reasons. One, to keep the epoxy dust from kicking back up on me. And two, it makes for a smoother finish. Um, I also now use a little bit of soap when I wet sand. 
So I'm going to show you how I sand my cup. Now this has the hog on the bottom. Good morning, Pam. Oh, thank you, Dave. Uh, who's that? I'm assuming that's Vanessa. Lisa. Okay, so it does have the hog on the bottom. But this is going to be covered with glitter. So I don't care. Hey, Maria. Alright, so I'm just going to take and stick my hand in here. Normally, I use um, my football. But I'm just going to use my hand. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to sand it. And sand the bottom. I'm just going to sand it the whole cup. Y'all, I need me a camera person. I need me a camera guy. So as you can see, it scuffs up the cup a little bit. In my opinion, this helps the spray paint stick better. This is not a requirement, but I've done it non-sanded and sanded and sanded works better. I also do not use alcohol. I use Dawn dish soap. So let me show you. So I'm going to take my Dawn and it's just the regular, um, Dawn Ultra, whatever. I'm going to drop a little bit on my cup. That much. <clears throat> See? Uh, 120, Cindy. Um, that's backwards. I'm sure that's still backwards, but it's 120. Cold water. I'm going to wet it, and I'm going to take my hand and just scrub. Get all the dust off. Thanks, Michelle, for answering that, because sometimes I can't see. I'm just going to clean this really good, and then I'm going to rinse it. Make sure you get all the soap off. You're welcome, Cindy. Okay. Good morning, Marilyn. Then I'm just going to take a paper towel, and I'm just going to dry it. Dry it off really, really good and the inside. So I'm just drying it. Make sure you get all the water off of it. Again, this is just how I do it. Y'all might have a better way, but this is what works for me. So there, so I sanded it. Anybody got any questions about that before I move to the next step? I'll wait a second because I know there's a lag. I just don't want y'all to miss something. Okay, so we're good. So I just make, make sure all that water is off. The sanding, I just sanded, dry sanded. I used a drop of Dawn dish liquid and I cleaned it with my hand, rinsed all the soap off, and dried it with a paper towel. Okay, good. Y'all got it. Okay, Ethan, can I borrow you for a second? Can you take the brown? Um, yeah, I know it's dark, y'all. The bottom, Lazy Susan, and put it on the back porch. Well, 100% acetone. Oh. Uh, I missed that comment. Let me see if I can find it. Nail polish section work. Yes, Lisa. Yes, it will. Good morning, Veronica. Okay, y'all. So, I'm, I got y'all outside with me. And I don't know. I, Ethan. Y'all, I got to get Ethan to hold this camera. Look, and I know he heard me. Ethan, can I borrow you just for a second? I need you to hold this camera because it's not going to sit. Hold on, y'all. Okay. They just need to see the spray. 
tray, but I don't want to set that stand too close. So, all right. Thanks. I'm in the store now. That's why I asked. Yes. Okay. So, this is a new can. This is matte white. Okay. Spray it first. Make sure you get any clumps or whatever. You need to come down right there. Okay. So last night I told y'all I don't spray continuously. I do it in spurts. So I'm going to start out. See how it sprayed that? But I don't care because I'm going to glitter it anyway. Why is this can want to... Did you shake it? Yeah, I shook it. I thought maybe not. Y'all, make sure you shake your can. Or you get these little ugly things. But we'll cover it with glitter so it won't matter. Alright. And if I miss any comments, I'll grab them in just a minute. breathe that in. Alright. So I'm going to take this back inside. It is kind of bumpy, isn't it? I'm just going to cut this on low. So it can dry. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Lana, that was... Um, that was my matte spray paint. Um, this right here. I don't know if you can see that. Matte. I use that. I just got this sitting in front of the heater so it'll dry a little bit quicker. Okay, while I'm doing that, I'm going to print. Did you, Kathy? Good, good. Um, while I'm waiting on that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and print my water slide because that's what I used. So. Let me see if I can turn you. Hey, Nancy. Debbie says, I'm not watching videos at work. Okay, Debbie. We got you. Okay. So, let me bring up Silhouette. Alright. So, what I'm going to do... I know y'all might not be able to see this, but... I'm going to show you how I do my... Um, uh, water slide. Hey, Jenna. Okay. Oh, Jessica says she's not watching it work either. Okay, so I'm going to open up my Elmer's glue file. I'm about to show y'all how to um, print your water slides. I found mine in a box. Y'all better get to work. Y'all don't blame me if y'all have to go to the unemployment office now. I can't be held accountable. Veronica, um, 
you can marry, but for this one, I just like the, the water slap look. Okay. So this is my file. And obviously this is way too big. So I'm going to shrink these down. I need to ungroup them so I can see how big they are. Uh, Michelle, I'm going to make one for y'all. Because this is not mine. This is one that I purchased. And I'm not trying to get in any kind of trouble by sharing a file. Y'all know y'all got the... Mary, I'm going to make one. Alright, so this is about a good size. This is four... About 2 by 9, 2.9 by 4.0. And the top one is about 2.2 by 3.8. That, to me, is a pretty good size to go on the cup. And the total cup is 5. Oh, so, yeah, I need to shrink it just a little bit. Yay, Peggy. I'm just going to measure my cup real quick again. And make sure that we're good size-wise. I think we are, but I want to double check. So let me grab the measurement and see how tall it is. So we can do, you can go about a five and a half for this one. Because the name is going to go on the back. Hey, Devery, good morning. All right, so I'm going to make this just a tad bit bigger because I have a little bit of room to work with. All right, now, y'all know Chris fusses when I waste um, paper. So I'm going to try to fit both of these. I need these twice. I need to do this twice. So I'm going to change my paper size to A4 in silhouette because that's the size of my water slide paper. So I'm just going to back you up a little bit so you can see. I'm just going to duplicate these and try to print both of them on the same sheet. Maybe it'll work. I could probably move this up. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Let me group this back together. I move this up a little bit. I move this guy up a little bit. I do, Kathy. This one's just a um, SVG file, so I just save it in my design folder. Okay, so that's how I'm going to print it. Y'all don't tell Chris I wasted this half of the paper. That's going to be our secret. Y'all don't y'all don't tell on me. No, you didn't. I hadn't done the dirty pour yet. Hey, Sandy. I figured I would do this one because I have two orders for these. So I figured I'd jump on and show y'all how to do this. Okay, so this is... No, they won't, Joanne. This is the water slide I use. It's by Hayes Paper Company. Yeah, I'm going to do a dirty pour, too. A4 inkjet. Y'all get that? This is my favorite. There's a bunch out there. So this is going to go, you see you have a, a rough side and a shiny side. In my printer, the glossy side goes down. Yes, I did, Maria. Good morning, Connie. So let me, let me see if I can show you. Okay, so this is my printer. Lana, uh, Amazon. I'm going to load it shiny side down. And then I'm going to push my little tabs here to make sure that the paper fits. Okay, make sure it's snug in there and then I'm gonna close it. Mine asked me, did you load specialty paper, glossy letter? Yes, I did. Okay, so now what I wanna do is since my paper's loaded, I'm gonna print straight from Silhouette. So I'm gonna go to File, I'm gonna go to Print. Okay. I'm going to double check my preferences because I changed them yesterday. So here under paper type, I want other. Under print quality, I want best. 
okay then I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna click print yes Megan and the way that my printer works you have to put the glossy side down because when it prints it it brings the glossy side up yes Jennifer I love mine I love it love it and it's wireless Tamara I'm gonna make one this file is not mine but I'm gonna make one hey Tara I am Kimberly because it's supposed to rain and I needed to spray those cups. Sandy, I'm not sure if you can print this from Cricut. I don't see why you couldn't. Yes, you can print these from Word. Yeah, I'm on early, y'all. I had I don't want to get caught in that rain. There you go, Tamara, right on time. You you fixing to get it. Marilyn says she has a Cricut and she does it the same way. Oh, do I do it the same way? You're asking me. Marilyn, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not familiar with Cricut. Sorry, I know that's not much help. Y'all, my cup is just sitting in front of the um, little heater. I'm, I'm turning my cup, Joanne, on the on the spinner. I'm you can't see me, but I'm spinning it so it don't so it dries. Valerie, I have the HP Envy forty five twelve. Kimberly, I think so. Good morning, Kim. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not doing anything. I'm waiting on this to print. Yeah, you can print it from Word. I think. It's an SVG file, so I don't know if Word will open that, but I'm sure there's a way around it. KJ says, yes, it's the same way with Cricut. Y'all, I'm not doing anything. I'm waiting on the printer to get done printing. Y'all aren't missing nothing spectacular except looking at my early morning face. Which I don't recommend that to anybody. Okay. So it's done printing and this is what it looks like. I almost got it cut too short on the side, but we're good. Y'all see all that wasted paper? Chris would flip. Oh, it's 11 p.m. there. Good night. Good night, good night. Okay. No, I didn't, Peggy. I didn't because um, the water slides are really easy to work with. I am Sandy. I have business edition. Yes, I do. Okay, so these are wet because this is an inkjet. And it needs to be sealed. So what I'm going to do is see if I can go around. Y'all, this tripod is going to be... I need to get it together. Okay. Let me see if you can see. I'm going to take my heat gun. Let me bring it down some. I printed straight from Silhouette, Tricia. Alright. Y'all might not can see this. Let's hope you can. So I'm going to take my heat gun, and this is because I need it to dry quickly. I'm just going to go over the design. So all that did was just really going, um, Kimberly, it's going to be on top of white glitter. 
Um, I've never used a brush on primer, so I'm not sure. I'm sure you could, Sandy. I just used my um, my hot, my heat gun. Okay. Thank you, Lori, for helping out with answers because I can't always see them. Y'all, Lori is phenomenal. Okay. So, I'm going to seal this with this. I'm going to take it right here to the back door, and I'm going to spray one good coat. And I can't, I can't, I have a hard time holding y'all up, holding you up on the tripod. Okay. So, I just sprayed it, and you'll see it's nice and glossy nice and glossy but I'm impatient so I'm gonna hit it again with my heat gun Okay, Lori, I said don't say nothing. Um, don't get me in trouble for leaving white paper, y'all. This, this is what I use, Kathy. I use this for everything. My glitter, my water slides, my alcohol inks. I use this for everything. You can get epoxy off the top of your cup by using this and pop in the seal wherever it's spilled at and it'll pop right off. Alright, so I'm going to spray this again. Lori's trying to get me in trouble, y'all. You're welcome. Okay, so I sprayed it again. And for the sake of time, I'm going to hit it with the heat. Uh, yeah, Lori, I do. Hey, Marie. It's uh, Rust-Oleum Clear 2X. Walmart. You can get it from Walmart. That's right, Lori. You saw nothing. And, y'all, the reason why I'm sealing it before I cut it, because if you cut these out and then try to seal it, good luck with that. Jennifer, I actually spray mine three times. You just posted your glue cup order. Good. Good, good. So I'm going to spray a little bit. I need a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to hit it again. This is probably overkill, but I don't want my colors to bleed. Printable vinyl. Print, uh, I am using water slide. Um, normally I do KJ, but because I hit it with the heat, this is how I always do it, and I have no trouble. So I'm going to hit it again. Kim, I cut mine by hand. These I'll cut by hand.
So these are good. I'm going to set these to the side somewhere where they won't get destroyed. I'll put them under here. Okay. I need your help with something. Okay, Jessica. Clear. That is clear water slide. I cut by hand because if I can cut it by hand and it look okay, like this is really just like these are easy shapes. I'm just going to cut along the orange and along the blue. So I, I'm not going to worry about registration marks at all. Um, let me move some of this down. Some workspace. <clears throat> I'm just letting that cup dry a few more minutes. Can you reuse the extra? Um, Debbie, I can't because of the way my printer feeds. I'm not able to reuse um, the water slide. I, Melina, I can't figure out how to... I can't figure out how to flip my camera the right way. I'm not tech savvy. Y'all, I had my kids giving me a crash course in YouTube this morning. How to use YouTube. That's sad. My 8-year-old was telling me how to do it. And my 11-year-old was telling me how to do it. And then my 14-year-old was telling me how to 15-year-old was telling me how to do it. Seven-year-old. Whatever. You'll be eight next month. Okay, I'm just letting this, I'm spinning this cup a little bit to give it some time to dry. Oh, Shannon, good idea. Good idea. Good idea. I'm just spinning my cup, y'all, just to let it, let it um, dry. It's going to be glittered over anyway. Yeah, that is genius, Sharon. Um, Tanya, I am doing this cup. I'm showing you how to do this cup. With the glitter on the top, the center, and the bottom. And the water slide. That's what I'm doing, Tanya. It's almost dry, y'all. Hey, girl, hey. Okay. Now, you'll see, probably not, because I said you'll see. There's some rough spots on here. But I don't care because I'm going to glitter this. And I don't care about this. And to me, that's not a big deal. Okay. So, let me move you over here where you can see. Y'all. Yeah, Shannon. That's the same thing Chris says, and I try to be cheap. I try. Y'all, is that lighting too much? I can't. I don't know what to do about the glare. Maybe if we flip it up. Oh, that's blinding me. I think that glare is just bad. Okay, Lori, thank you for your help. That's still too glary, isn't it? Okay, we'll, we'll go with this. Alright, so I'm going to take <clears throat> a pencil. I'm just going to take a pencil. And what I used to mark mine last time is I took my hog lid. Yeah, let me try that, Megan. I'm just one of those that has to have natural sunlight. Let me look. Let me see if I can shut this one. Is that better? Is that better? This is the reflection from the monitor. I think that's better. Okay, so how I marked my last one is I used the lid to my hog cup. And I turned my cup upside down. And I laid the hog cup 
you got the mouthpiece. I just flipped it upside down and laid it like this. And then I took my pencil and put it to the side like this. And I put it on the cup and I spin the cup. I just do this for the top. And I only do it once because the light is lined. So you can see right here, here's my line. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my electrical tape because that line's gonna be hidden by glitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right underneath that pencil line. And I'm going to let that pencil line be my guide. So see? Right underneath it. There you go, Renee. So then just go around the cup and tape the top off. all the way around. You can move it and shift it if you need to. That's why I love electrical tape because it's very, very um, movable, easy to maneuver if I need to stretch it up or down. And I overlap my last two pieces. And there's a reason why I do that. Just cut it off, make sure it lines back up. And then I take the bottom and I just make a little, a little tuck so I can find this piece of tape and then I lay it back down. So just like that. So see, now you have an even line all the way around. Now on the bottom, I let this be my guide I just want to tape off, and this part's going to be orange. It is very forgiving. Thank you. That's the word that I was looking for. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go right below that line where the, where the seal meets. And I'm just right there at the line, and I'm just going to start taping that off. Okay, Tanya. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm doing now. This is actually for an order. You can watch the replay, though. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so I'm just going all the way around the cup. All the way around. Good morning, Denise. Howdy, howdy, howdy. All right, I'm going to overlap that piece as well because I want to be able to tuck it a little bit so I know where to grab and I'm not scraping up my cup. So I'm just going to fold it under just a hair. And there we go. So now I have this taped off. This is going to be orange and this is going to be orange. So you see, everything's taped off, everything's even. So, um, Sandy, I used my hog's lid, laid it right here, took my pencil, and, and moved my cup. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my finger and make sure that this tape is down really good on both sides, both edges. Okay, so I'm, Taping it down, taping it down, just sliding my finger across it. Good morning. Okay, so y'all, this is where my saran wrap trick came in play. I need to spray paint this orange and this orange, but I don't want to get it on my white. I have not mastered how to just spray paint 
where I need to go. Oh, bye, Sandra. Have fun. You know how to reach me if you need to. So, I use saran wrap. And I'm going to wrap this part of the cup. So, when I spray paint this and this orange, this stays white. So, i just just using regular saran wrap. This works beautifully, y'all. This works beautifully. All right. Let me see if I can get my piece out. I'm going to cut it. Because my little thing, y'all, I don't know about y'all, but my little razors never work on my saran wrap. I always end up having to cut it. So I'm just cutting it. Yeah, Mary, I, I don't have any press and seal at the moment, so I'm just going to go with it. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this a little bit because I think it's a little bit too higher for my cup, y'all, and this stuff ain't a joke. Yeah, and paper is probably better, but every time I use paper, I get runs. So, apparently I'm not doing something right. Okay, so, I'm going to just see what we're working with. So, I'm going to cut this in half, and then I can use the other piece. Oh, Brenda, I need to get some of that. So, I'm just going to cut this again. Y'all, this is just how I do it. I'm sure y'all got easier ways less time consuming this is just what works for me so we're gonna go with it all right so I'm gonna set that to the side because I can use that piece so then I'm gonna take this piece of saran wrap and I think it's still a little big but we'll scrunch it up and I'm gonna wrap this cup in saran wrap wrap it all the way around so now I have my white taped off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the top because I have the tape there. So I'm just going to push this up a little bit to get it off my white. I still want my cup covered, but my tape is working for that. So on the piece that don't want to stick, I'm just going to take a little piece of, um, yeah. A little piece of electrical tape and I'm gonna tape this piece down because I don't want this to be blocking my white up top but I do want my white down here to be covered so I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna tape this off so it kind of creates like a seal okay so now if you look it's not the prettiest thing in the world but it's gonna do the job so my saran wrap stops right above my tape on both ends. Okay? So my white is protected. So when I go to spray, it's not going to matter if I get it on the paper. So I'm going to sit this on the Lazy Susan, and then I'll come back and get you guys. Because I can't carry all that stuff in my hand at one time. Let me sit it outside. Let's go paint orange. Ooh, and it is hot out here. Okay, let me see if I can sit you. Last time I didn't have any luck because of my deck handle. Y'all see my little she shed being built? Can't wait. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the top. Short burst. All right. So I'm going to do the top.
Okay? And I don't care if there's a little bit showing because it's going to have glitter on it. So now I'm going to do the bottom. So let me take this in and then I'll come back and grab you guys. Okay. Don't mean to put you all in my face. All right. So now I have that sitting in front of the heater as well yes Jennifer I can't wait we got the electrical um, actually that was not a matte color this was gloss pumpkin gloss pumpkin I already have one Denise Chris is mad Chris is mad He said he was going to put me a little, um, a little tarp on the back deck so I could spray when it's raining. But the number one rule was if he put me a, like a gazebo type thing up, that it cannot have any spray paint on it. I said, well, I can't promise that. I can't make you any promises like that. So I already have a rainbow deck. We're going to redo the back deck. So it's coming down anyway. So... So I've got that sitting in front of the heater. That's what I said. It brings color to your world. Like, you got some orange, you got some black, you got some yellow, you got some pink. Like, it's just happy. It's happy paint. Like, what was the guy's name? Bob Ross. What's that his name? Paint Happy Trees. Yeah, so that's my version of Happy Trees. I said that spray paint means I'm working. So, let's be thankful that the porch is spray painted. And it's only on the little arms. What does that really matter? Hey, Kathy. So, I'm just spinning this cup to let it dry. Dry a little bit. Bright happiness. That's right, Jennifer. A happy deck. Exactly. So, before this gets completely dry... I want to pull this saran wrap off. I always feel like I'm performing surgery when I do this. Because I'm like, please, 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 please don't get on the white. Let me see where I bunched it. Okay. So, here's a trick. That's right, Denise. Who cares? So, if you take your saran wrap and hold it out like this, and spin your Lazy Susan, you can still go with the flow of the cup and pull it off. So we have no orange on our white. Now this I know is probably, that's right Kathy, paint is proof. A amen Denise, amen. So while my paint is still a little wet, this is not the tape that I want to use. Um, this is not the tape I want to use to keep my glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this. So now you know why I put a little lip. Same thing. Start it. And you won't be able to turn the Lazy Susan. But just go with the flow. Pull. Pull. And pull. Pull. Okay, do the same thing for the bottom, and naturally I would have to put it on the other side. So, yes, I'm going to retape it. Turn, 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 carefully, turn, turn, off. So there you go. Your this right here 
means less glitter. I'm using pumpkin and glitz. These are the two colors I'm using, pumpkin and glitz. So this means, because this is orange and this is already white, y'all, this is one coat of glitter. You see that sparkle? But because I spray painted it orange, means I have to have less glitter. Um, I got it at Walmart. Uh-oh, Jennifer. Acetone. Can you use acetone? I don't know how to get, mm -mm, I don't know how to get um, paint off of my table. <laughs> That's funny. So, this is good. I'm just going to move it. Y'all, the, um, the, I bought two Lazy Susans. They don't work as good as my wooden one, but I bought two from the dollar store. They're plastic. Tara says razor blade. Uh, yeah. I didn't really care either, y'all. I'm like, eh, whatever. So there we go. And I noticed where a little piece of my white pulled up, but that's okay because I'm doing this fast. Uh, yes, they do, Tony. Walmart. I got the wooden Lazy Susan from Walmart. I think it was over there where the cutting boards and stuff are. Just a few minutes, Denise. There's a little spot right here, but I'm going to cover that with glitter. But I'm going to retape this first. I'm going to retape it because I want to... I don't care if my white gets in the orange glitter, but I don't want my orange to get in the white. So I'm going to do the orange glitter first, and then I'll do the white glitter. Y'all, I just sat here and looked for my phone. I'm on my phone. It is too early. I was about to check a message while I'm waiting on this to dry. And, wow. I'm using my phone. I can't even. Whew. I, I've done it when I've been on it. I'm like, let me find my phone. Okay. Uh, up to your ear, maybe? Oh. You want to do stripes? Oh, yeah. You're going to be doing a lot of taping. I have not done stripes yet. I have not done stripes yet. Okay. So. See, Jennifer? Glad I'm not alone. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this in front of the heater just for a minute. Wait for older and look for glasses. I do that now, Kathy. Hey, Angela. I do that now. I do it now. And I should have my glasses on all the time, but I don't. I have a customer who wants one side of the cup blue and the other side red. Mm. If I tape it off with electrical tape and retape for um it should not, Betty, if you let it dry really good. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Oh. They shouldn't. Lisa, I don't know, because I never have luck washing out my cups, so I use the ones I can toss out. Let me spin. Y'all, I feel like a DJ spinning this little, um, oh, Sandra, are you going to let me watch you do one of them? I want to watch, please. That mermaid cut was on point. Yes, 
Yeah, silicone's all you can wash out. Um, Amazon has the little silicone pinch bowls. I've never had any luck with those. Or maybe because I'm lazy and don't want to have to stand there and wash them out. But I'm sure if I let it dry, it would just pop out. So They do, Tizzy. They have, um, they're called pinch bowls. Like you can pinch them. Y'all, Sandra won't go live. I could read your questions for you. All you have to do is tell us what you're doing. I'll read the questions. I'll hop on there with you and read the questions. Y'all know me. I love to talk. You'll be fine. Y'all, y'all can go live. Oh, Kathy said 25 th Kathy, I'm not messing with you. Did you hear what I said last night about my Fitbit? Yeah. Pinch bowls. Cindy said she uses the pinch bowl. The pinch bowls work well. Laura, I know Laura said she gets in a lot of steps too. Yeah, Stacy, you were there when I talked about my Fitbit. Y'all, I can't even with Chris. He's probably at like 10,000 steps now. I have to watch what I say because they'll my kids will rat on me. They'll they'll tell they'll throw me under the bus. Yeah, Stacy, see? I don't have it on this morning. What's wrong? Is it from where you ate breakfast? Won't you go lay on the couch for a little bit? Maybe if I drink a couple of adult. Oh, that would be a hot mess, mermaid. No, Lisa, you're still going to have to measure it to pour it in there, but that's why it's easier to me. Yes, Denise. I'm like, I gave birth to y'all. Like, you invaded my body for nine months. You made me have morning sickness and can't go to the bathroom and then pee in every five minutes and then you're going to throw me under the bus? 10,000 is the minimum. Oh, child. Woo. You know what my minimum is? I do like this. One, two, three. I just move my arm. When you walk, yeah. Logan said he won't rat me out. He always says, I got your back, boo. He tells me that all the time. Yeah, where's the loyalty? Like, Rip. Like, who is we? You say we are supposed to get a thousand steps a day. Who is we? I need to know who we is. Because Beth ain't going to get no 10,000 steps in. Y'all see, I do most of my work sitting down. That's right. Good boy, Logan, Peggy said. Oh, people in general? Oh, well, I'm not a part of we then. I'm not a part of we. Plug it in, Lisa. Tara said, as in people everywhere. Mm -mm, I'm not a part of we. No. That's right. That's right. Y'all, when y'all say we, y'all are speaking French. I don't speak French, so I'm going to say I, because I don't get 10,000 steps a day. Oh, no. Or, Brenda, you doing better than me if you get 5,000. Y'all, I can't with the heat. I'll walk to the door. I'll be like, nope. Turn around and walk back in. Y'all, it's hot outside. Hey, Lori. Oh, well, there you go. You were a teacher. See, Jasmina? Nope. Do your little walk. And I told y'all last night, if y'all were with me last night, I did attempt to walk. But where I live, it's a dead-end road. It's like a cul-de-sac. So all the houses are on the left side if you're leaving. And then there's woods on the right side. Y'all, Chris was busy, and I caught myself going to walk. I got probably... 
25 feet from the house and I started hearing like crunching in the woods, y'all, I instantly transformed myself into a um, Jason or Freddy movie. Y'all, I was booking it. And I don't speed walk. I want cold. Trista, send me some of your cold. And I'll send you some of my... Oh, she says she wants what? Cold and cloudy. I'll take cold and cloudy. No, you didn't. You didn't miss nothing, Lord, but me running my mouth. See, that's it, Stacy. I don't shop. Amazon. Unless you count walking to the mailbox to get my Amazon packages. Jennifer, you can have all the rain you want, honey, because I'm sick of rain. I'm just letting my cup dry, y'all. I'm not just really just doing nothing. I promise. Yeah, you can have the rain. Denise. No. When I take the kids and say, let's go for a walk, sometimes they will. But they don't. Jennifer said, I get my kid to bring. I do too. I tell Ethan, go get the mail. Go check the mail. The mail lady's here. Use it for my water intake. Yeah, about that. Y'all, that's funny. Okay, so I'm going to retape because I know y'all don't. Good morning, Brandy. I know y'all get tired of me running my mouth about nonsense. We're supposed to be doing cups. All right. So I'm just going to go underneath the orange line. Right? Okay. That didn't work. Hey, Laura. She said I get a lot of steps crocheting. I feel you, Brenda. I hear I hear you. Y'all sometimes have to tell me to be quiet and stop talking. And um Oh Peggy, I will. I I will. Y'all got to keep me on track and say, Beth, stop chit chatting and let's get to this cup. Brandy, I spray painted the top. Orange. Or orange. Pumpkin orange. Oh, Donna, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. She's got more than a problem, y'all. I think she needs a therapist. She has anger issues. Sandy, do it. Oh, well, y'all, if I ever start talking your ear off, just say, Beth, focus. Get back to the cup making. leave the nest I got four four still here all right so what I'm doing is I'm just retaping where I had a ta where I had taped initially and again I took my piece so I can find it okay that's that's what we do. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. I need to get some more um, electrical tape. I need to be able to lean this down, y'all. Let me get it started, and I'll show you what I'm doing. You just want to go right below the orange line because that's where your that's where your glitter is going to go. Five bucks for ten rolls. Oh yeah, I need to. Um, Yeah, my thighs work. My thighs work for my cup holders, y'all. 
that and storing donuts. Powdered donuts. That's my addiction. Oh, y'all, look. I ran out of... Okay. I ran out of tape. I thought I had enough. Let me grab my other roll. Ethan, where's that other roll of electrical tape? Dad just bought a big roll. I need, um... I need it. Never mind. I, I found it. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, well, you're going to have to give me a minute. I can't give you a long time right at this second. I'm in the middle of a tutorial. Yeah, but. Okay, what's bigger? Me being. Who knows what? Or. Logan. You're fine, I promise. Alright, so let me. Let me uh, work the thighs here for a minute and tape it. I'm just taping underneath the orange. Okay, yeah, Jennifer, he's a mess. No, I spray painted um, right, Ashley. I'm retaping it because I'm going to put glitter on here. And I don't know about you, but I don't have that. I can't draw a perfect line. So I'm going to let the tape help me out. Keep me straight. All right, so let me cut this piece off. All right, fold the tab. And the reason why I fold the tab, yeah, Cindy, I had, I've got, I've got three of these to do. Um, and it's supposed to rain here and I wanted you guys to be able to see all this. So I went on live before it got raining and I couldn't do what I needed. Okay, so do y'all see, probably not. You see the bumps, I don't care, because this is going to um, be covered with glitter. All right, so I have the top and the bottom taped off. Now it's time for the fun part, glitter. Let me get my little, and y'all, I have to stand up for this, so I'll adjust the camera where you can see it. So in my little bin here, Y'all, I'm going to make my own uh, color of glitter, and let me show you why. <laughs> so I use my, um, my little dish pan here to catch all of my extra glitter, and then I take it and I pour it in here, which you can't see. Let me see if I can show you. So y'all, look, look at this little pan. Can y'all see that? Probably not. So I just dump my excess in here. So I just bang all of this, get all the glitter off my plates. I know that's probably banging y'all too, I'm sorry. Then I just take my pan and I dump it. Because it's the colors that's mixed together anyway, ain't nothing you can really do about it. And I put my plates back in here. And then I just put my lid back on in here. And who knows, I might come up with an award-winning glitter mix. Alright, so I am going to put this on a football. Simply because I do it better with a football. So this is how I glitter. That's right, that's right. Okay, so now let me get my... um. That's not the brush I use. That's the brush I use for water slide. Let me get me a brush. I use this one. This one's good. Okay. So let me see if I can move y'all up because I don't know 
right? Mermaid scale. Okay. So, this is how I do it. I'm going to get my little Mod Podge. I'm going to do the bottom first. So, I'm going to dump my Mod Podge on here. And then I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to brush it on. I'm going to go, I'm going to do it like this so I make sure I get the uh, bottom really good. Because the first coat always dries really, really quick. I don't know why. I think because the um, on the second coat, if you do a second coat, your glitter helps it stay wet a little bit longer. Michelle, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled, sister. I promise you I'm not. All right, so I'm going to do the bottom. Try to get out as many lines as you can because Mod Podge will show it. So I just go around the bottom. Make sure I get the edges. Make sure I get the bottom really good. And then I'm gonna do the first coat of orange. Now because I have the spray paint, it should only take one coat. So I'm gonna go on the bottom. My paper plate is catching my excess glitter. I have not, but that is my goal. And then I'm going to do the bottom. Give it a real good coat. And y'all, this is only going to need one coat of glitter. So, yay. Yay, yay, yay. One coat. All right, so then I just take it and I tap. Check it out, make sure I didn't miss any spots, which I didn't. See, one coat. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to take my Mod Podge. I'm going to drop it on here. And I'm going to do the same thing to the top. But I like to go down just because I can work faster that way. And then I'll go back and clean it up. And I should have got the football with the longer handle, but... It is what it is. Make sure you get that in and you don't miss any spots on your end or your cup won't be, you'll be missing spots in glitter. Uh, PVC, it, my football is attached to the PVC pipe. And I really should have used the other one so I could have went straight to the turner, but I didn't. Alright, so this is good. I'm just getting the extra lines out. Alright, so that's Mod Podged. Now I'm going to do the top. Y'all, I love this pumpkin color. I hope y'all can see that. Okay, now I'm going to tap it. Thank you, Jessica. Alright, so, now that I have this, y'all do not let this Mod Podge dry before you pull your tape. If you wait, it's going to pull your glitter up. And I don't need this tape to glitter the white. Okay? So, pull your tape. Because you're going to lose your glitter if you don't. So, go ahead and pull it. Turn it. Just do it carefully so you don't pull up your spray paint. Turn it. 
turn it. That's what I love about the PVC football. Ta-da. Throw it in the trash. Pull the bottom piece. Now, y'all see why I told y'all to leave that rim, the fold it, so you'll know when you'll have something to pull on. Same thing here. Take it. Pull it. Pull it carefully, carefully. Ta-da, that's it. Hey, Teresa. So y'all see, that's it. That's it for the orange. You only need one coat because we spray painted it. Pivot, pivot, pivot. That's right, Trista. So now you see why I said, I don't care if my white gets into the, the orange but I don't want my orange into the white. Yeah, you see how crisp those lines are? That's how you get it. You can take your finger and brush off that extra orange on there. Or I usually take it outside and blow it. Now, what I will do is I will do the white next. Okay, so let me um, get my little cup holder. Y'all, y'all know I'm I'm cheap, so let me let me get my little holder, my little pool pool noodle holder, and all I'm gonna do, y'all, I hope that don't fall. I'm gonna pick up my plate, you know, because Recollections has the big mouth like me. Get your plate, fold it in half, tap it, and then pour your excess back in here. Probably helps to take the lid off, but I think we got it. No, we didn't. Let me take the lid off. Am I on her? On who, Beverly? Are you on who? I think she meant to say here. So just tap it. Let me grab this that I spilled. Because y'all know I ain't wasting no glitter now. Alright. So that's it for the orange. Um, Sonya. I do, Casey. I do spray it. Um, it's Pumpkin by Recollections. Yeah, Tony. It's like childproof. Good morning, Nissa. So I'm just going to tap. I hope y'all don't fall. I know, right, Teresa? Recollections per uh, pumpkin. So the next color I'll use, y'all, and before I put on the white, I'm going to take my sealer. Y'all know the one I use for everything. And I'm going to seal the bottom and the top. And I can't hold the camera and seal it, so y'all just want to trust me. You have that? Good. All you need is... And y'all, you could even leave it like this. You wouldn't even have to glitter this if you didn't want to. Just slap your water slide on there. So I'm going to seal this real quick. Okay, so I just sealed it a little bit. I'm gonna let I'm gonna sit this in front of the heater real quick so it can dry and pray it don't fall. Okay, that's okay, Kathy. That is okay. Let's see what I missed. All right, so that's that for the orange. Did you seal the cup after paint? Nope, I did not. Right, Jasmina? I'm not an orange person. Well, I take that back because I live in South Carolina, so my favorite team here is the Clemson Tigers, and their colors are orange and purple and white. This is a good orange. This is a good orange. I love this one. 
because it's got um, it's got a really pretty sheen to it. I had my headphones on unless my daughter came out and said, Mom, I want to listen to. So I can hear you in the. Aww. Um, Danielle, let me show you. Oh. Nope, I don't want no. Ah. This is what I'm using. Just. That's right, Ellen. Go Tigers. That's just, I bought that off Amazon. Cindy, I'm in Lexington. Thank you, Robin. Welcome for watching the first time. You will quickly learn that I am crazy and chatty. Um, Brandy, Matt White and Gloss Pumpkin. Pumpkin Orange. So I painted the cup white first. And then I taped off for my orange. Can you explain what acetone and alcohol are used for when making cups? Okay. I don't use alcohol. Oh, Trista. How sweet. Um, I do not use alcohol. I have not done a Glitter Bluff Low Plaid. Thank you, Michelle. Um, I use acetone if I get cups, if I get paint in the inside of my cup. And y'all, what I love about this is it's got high, medium, low, but it also has a fan. But look, if it if somebody accidentally knocks it over, it automatically shuts off. That's what I love. Yes, Tara, pumpkin for both. Pumpkin for both. Yay, Amber. I need some of y'all to go live and show us what you're doing. Y'all see my fabric cup still sitting there, untouched. Yeah, I use acetone to clean the paint up. Like the spray paint, like if I'm spraying, if I'm holding my cup while I'm spraying on my football and some gets under the inside, yeah. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. So this was the epoxy y'all watched. See? Smooth. On this one, Jennifer. I did a tutorial on this one. I put glitter. Y'all look at that glitter. Y'all remember me adding glitter? Look at that. You can see it. My favorite. This one, I'm lost, Jennifer. You talking about this one? I just score it, um, Sandy. I I don't know what. Yeah, didn't it though, Kimberly? Threw a little bit of um gold in the um. Oh Lord, yay! I'll be around working on cups if you need any help. No, the one in the back. Oh, this one. I did a tutorial. And y'all were there when I jacked it up. I had to add glitter to the... That's fabric. That one right there. That's a fabric cup. It's called, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Let me see. Can you see that? You talking about the Harley Quinn, um, um, koozie? Me too, Diane. Yeah. Her baby doll, his baby doll her pudding and then of course I branded it put your name on it I can't say that enough
Um, but yeah, um, this is fabric. And I accidentally, when I was cutting the bottom, I cut it too short. So everybody said throw coral glitter on there. That needs a second coat, obviously. You, that's how you can tell you need a second coat. You see that stainless steel peeking through? Yeah. I do use epoxy, Cindy. I hadn't got to that point. Oh, Sonya. Let me tell you what I do. There's a there's a website called Bonanza, I think. Debbie, I just use regular vinyl. Um, Sonya, there's a website called Bonanza. It's a background burner. And you can remove the background, save it as a PNG, and the background's gone. And all you, so when you print it, all you're printing is the design. Burn the background off of it. I want to do an aerial cup. So if I can do an aerial cup, I'll do it live where you can see. Yep, Ellen 651. I just use my scrap vinyl, y'all, for the bottom of my cup. Pick a color that's in the cup. Don't don't come out with something like hot pink on a black cup. Like you don't want to do that. Stick with the colors of the cup. So like you'll see in this cup, this one has sold. This is what she wanted on it. There's white, the beach. I use white. Um, I think it's called Bonanza. Type in background burner and look for the one that says Bonanza. And it's a website. It's not an app. It's a website. Okay, Sandy, I'll see what I can do. I'm going to try to get in that dirty pour today when I get these cups spinning. Um, cause I got two more to do just like that. Um, I'm going to try to do the dirty pour today. You're welcome, Sandy. All right. So let me, let's go ahead. Now that that's dried a little bit, let me shift back. Okay. Um, Jennifer, this is what I, y'all, this tripod, I can't with this thing. No, I'm not going to hold back nothing. Because, you know, I've been in groups where they, they'll tell you how to do everything and leave out the most important part. That's not me. I'm going to teach you how I do it. I'm not going to be greedy. I'm not going to be stingy. There ain't no sense in it. Period. This is a dirty pour. This is a dirty pour. This don't have epoxy on it yet. But this is a dirty pour. And see, I'll use acetone to clean all that up. Oh, thank you, Laura. So, yeah, this is a dirty pour. I'm going to get these, um, these Elmer cups going. And when I do, I'm going to do a tutorial on this. Could you show us how you... Google. I just pulled mine off Google. I wish I could get the Elmer's. Terry, you can do it. Like, we're almost halfway done. You can do it. But I don't think I will be able. Let me see. Let me see. I won't be able. I have to use vinyl on my turner. Is uh, Oh, okay. Okay, Jasmina. Buy some donuts. Powdered donuts. And eat one for me. Um, Sandra, if it doesn't have, if it doesn't have glitter, I think you'll be fine with just one coat. Okay, y'all. So, here comes the tricky part. Because we don't have any tape. Let me make sure my brush didn't dry up. Y'all, I need to really get better with keeping these. Uh-oh. Let me plug you in. Because it says my phone is dying. Y'all, I can't keep this phone charged for nothing. No, we didn't do a dirty pour yet, Kathy. You're good. Laura, I'm sorry. 
I'm a sucker for powdered donuts. That would for sure be the way that I would get kidnapped. All right. So this is the part where you have to go quickly and steady. Okay. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge. And I'm going to just squirt it on the cup. Okay. I'm going to take my brush. And I'm just going to paint. Paint it on there. And I want to get to as close to the edge as I possibly can. Y'all remember this dries kind of quick, so try to work fast, but be careful around your edges. So I'm just going around the edge. I'm going to push the Mod Podge up. I know y'all probably can't see that. But I'm going to... Um, Push it up to the edge and down, up and down. Push it to the edge. And I'll clean up the rest of this mess when I'm done. Like the streaks and all that good stuff. So just smear it as fast as you can. And go around the edge. Quickly, quickly. I need some more Mod Podge. All right. That's why that little squirt bottle comes in handy, y'all. I don't have to dip in my brush and worry about getting um, glitter in my Mod Podge. So I'm just going around the edge really carefully and all the way down. Now I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. So I'm just going to meet at the bottom, go all the way to the edge. I hope y'all can see this. Go to the edge, turn your cup, just hold your brush still, turn your cup. We can clean this up when we're done. I don't care about that. I just don't want this Mod Podge to dry on me. All right. So we're just going to clean up these lines because you know you will see them in the Mod Podge when you put your glitter on. You'll be able to see those lines. So get those hard lines out of there. Just brush them out. Brush them out. And remember, if you get a little bit of the white in the orange, it's fine. You just don't want your orange in your white. And if you get a little Mod Podge where you don't want it, just take your finger and dab it. Okay? Easy peasy. I do. I do thin layers, y'all. Because you don't need a lot of Mod Podge. I mean, it's just going to take longer to dry for the same end result. So I don't see what the point is for thick layers. All right. So let me check. I see a bunch of lines. Let me get them out. Up here. Alright, so the color I'm using for this is Glitz. And I'm trying to keep up with comments, so if I miss it, I'm sorry. Alright, so I think this is good. Alright. My Mod Podge, actual Mod Podge brush is soaking, so I'm stuck with this paintbrush, but it's okay. Alright, so then you take your Glitz. Okay, take your Glitz. Dump. The orange is already stuck, so you, you can shake off the excess white. Just dump, dump, dump. Shake it off. My plate is catching my excess glitter. Um, I will tell you in just a second what size the decal was. 
I'll pull it up and tell you. And y'all, it looks clumpy, but I'm going to show y'all a trick. And it don't require a special tool. Y'all don't need to buy nothing off Amazon. I do not. Yes, it will be saved. All right, so I'm going to tap it. All right, now if you look, you see right there it looks clumpy. Now watch this. I'm going to take it outside. Okay, now look. Clumps are gone. What you do, and I can't do it in the house because I'll make a mess. Not that it matters because I got glitter everywhere. Take it outside. When you see those clumps, take it outside and just blow it. And it'll get rid of that. So you got the best tool right here. Just hold it in your hand. Take it outside and blow it. And you can blow around the orange and it'll get the white off the orange, but... That's it, y'all. Once you put your epoxy on, do you have an issue with your white part looking? No, because I use Pro Marine. Them employees. No, I use an inkjet, Denise. I don't have a laser printer. Have a great day, Teresa. Thank you for joining me. So there you go. Next step is epoxy. Let it dry, sand it, put your water slide on, seal it, ta-da, you're done. Good to go. Now what I will do, and I'll tell you, before... Before I put epoxy on that, I will seal that. I will seal it because it's two colors. I don't seal it if it's one color, just two colors. Y'all, and I got my podge on my arm. I seal it if it's two colors. Yeah, I know there's a bad delay. Yes, Lori, when I wet sand that cup, I will use the um, wet sanding with the soap. Yes. Ethan, come here for a minute. Run that under some hot soapy water, please. Appreciate it. Do you need that? No. Um, I seal it with this. That's what I seal it with. Yep. Rust-Oleum. I use Rust-Oleum. The Ultra 2X. If I have... Yeah. Any... any. I just use... This is my preference. But any clear gloss sealer will work. Can you wet sand? Um, if you need to, Tricia, you can wet sand it. You shouldn't... Um, you shouldn't have to sand on your final layer, though. Um, it is Krylon. Jeanette, um, no. And I'll tell you why. Because I can't stand nothing on my face. Trisha, it will scratch the epoxy, but if you put another layer of epoxy on, the scratches are gone. Yeah, I love this sealer. I love it. I use it for everything. My alcohol inks, my glitter, my water slides. I use it for everything. I love it. So this is with the first coat. Okay, so I put the first coat of epoxy, wet sanded, put my water slides. Now this just needs a final coat. Then what I will do 
is I will take this color blue vinyl and put my name on the bottom. And then I'll, I'll put my name on the bottom and then I'll do the final coat of epoxy. What's the soap wet? Okay. You literally take soap, put it on your cup, Dawn dish soap. You wet your sandpaper and you sand. You get such a smoother finish. Um, Walmart. And I have matte white and matte black. Those are my two that I keep in stock. Um, Brandy, I'm going to see if I can make one. Because that file wasn't mine. It was one that I bought. Yes. Oh, quit eating glue. Yes. So, that'll have the final coat of epoxy on once she gives me the name to put on it. I'll come back here and I'll put the name on it. Put my little decal on it. Seal it. And she'll be good to go. Um, I get my... Uh, okay, so that was for the water slide. Hey, Anna. So, that's it, y'all. Next step is sealing which will take a while, and then the first coat of epoxy. But you guys know how to do that um, because I've done tutorials on those. So y'all should be good with this, the... Um... Bye, Laura. Let me know how it works. I use... Um... I use 120 grit sandpaper. That's what I use. Um, I don't think it really matters how long you wait. Lori says she uses 180. I use 120. Thank you, Crystal. And I sand it until when? All your little bumps are gone. I'm going to, Sonia, I'm going to see if I can, um, uh, make you one. Um, my, I do have a YouTube channel, y'all. I don't have any videos up yet, but I think for my dirty pour, I'm going to use the YouTube Live. And you can find me on YouTube, just type in Midlands Vinyl. And I'm going to do the dirty pour on YouTube. Um, Denise, I have a YouTube channel, but I don't have any, I just started it. And I don't have any videos up yet, but if you search YouTube, the channel is Midlands Vinyl, and that's where I'm going to do my dirty pour. Yes, Jennifer. Yes, Jennifer, I will. Y'all just subscribe, and you won't miss anything. You're welcome, Glenda. Type in Midlands Vinyl, M-I-D-L-A-N-D-S. B-I-N-Y-L. Yes, Kathleen, I will let you know. Yep, that's right, Crystal. Midlands, it's with an S, Midlands Vinyl. See, everybody keeps telling me that. I need somebody to help me do that. Somebody that can walk me through it. Because Trina just said there was an app that you could... Download your Facebook live so you can add them to YouTube. Will somebody help me do that? I do, Mary. I use that grit. Bye, Tina. I need somebody to help me through that. No, no, no. I'm not in Midland, Texas. I'm in South Carolina. I'm th I, I thought you said Midland like if you were asking me how to spell it. So I need somebody to help me figure out how to get my my Facebook lives to my YouTube. Thank you, Trina. That would be fabulous. Good morning, Michelle. Yeah, y'all, please help me do it because a lot of y'all say that when y'all replay the lives, um, when y'all replay the lives, you can't hear the sound. So I want to make sure that I have two formats that you guys can watch. Oh no. We can be neighbors if you want to though. 
So if Trina's going to help, uh, I think it was Trina that said she would help me out. Um, I'm going to see if I can get that going. The final cup? Yeah. This is without the last coat of epoxy. So I just got to add my logo, the teacher's name, and then seal it. And this one will be done. And clean up the inside, y'all, because I'm a messy glitterer. So, yeah, I want to have two platforms. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Go to Facebook. Oh, so I have to save the live before? Y'all, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, Trina said she was going to help me. Uh, some people say that they can't hear it. So, um, y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. Because I'm going to start using that a lot more. Now that my children have gave me a crash course... And I'm also going to use um, the recording feature my kids showed me this morning. No, I don't, Denise. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Um, it's called, the YouTube channel is Midlands Vinyl. I'll show you how to spell it. Let me get that cup. And I know this is backwards, y'all. That's how you spell it. I do Amber. Yes, Sandy. There you go. Thank you, Kathleen. Oh, you're welcome, Kimberly. That's what I said, y'all. I'm not going to hide nothing. I said last night, y'all ever had somebody that gave you the recipe to something, like a meal, but because they were facetious, they purposely left out the main ingredient? That's not who I am. This is my business. And a lot of people will say, well, why are you telling everybody how to do what you do if you're making a business out of this? Small businesses help grow other small businesses. So, to me, why would I hide something from you? I don't want to see somebody not succeed. I want you to succeed. I want you to grow. I want your business to grow. Because to me, I feel like if I'm that dirty... I'm going to end up losing more in the long run anyway. So, why can't I help you? You know, why can't I help you? We can make a cup together. Let's do a collaboration. I sell it on my page. You sell it on your page. I'm all about helping somebody. I'm all about all about helping somebody you know and I'll repeat this my grandmother used to say you don't look down on somebody unless you're helping them up so you don't have to worry about me holding no secret it's you're in my home like this is my home this is my private space and I think at one point we had a hundred and something people watching I let you in my private space so why would I hide anything? I'm not going to hide it. Y'all have seen my kids. Y'all have met my husband virtually. You know, so I'm allowing you to come into my space. That's a big deal for me. So I don't mind helping you. I'll tell you what kind of paint to get. Y'all know I'm cheap. I'm going to tell you how to save money. There's no reason for me to hide it. That's how the world grows. You you learn by having somebody teach you. That's just me. Some people call it crazy. Some people are like, you are crazy for telling people how you did this cup and how you did this shirt. So what? So what? 
If I can help you put food on your table, I'm all for it. Because me teaching you isn't taking food off my table. Because I'm going to have food on my table whether I make a cup or not. So, if I can help you put food on your table, if I can help you buy that glitter that you need or build your business up or teach you how to market, I'm not a pro, but what I do works. So, I've got to be doing something right. So, I'm all for it. Y'all teach me. You got that right. Y'all, I have seen some women um, over this vinyl machine. Oh, well, she copied my shirt. You don't own the design? I had some girl say, well, I can't believe she's right down the road from me doing cups. You don't own tumblers? You don't own a hog cup? You, don't, you didn't patent that? Now, I agree. Don't copy somebody. Now, like this, you can't help but copy it. You know what I'm saying? But if it's like a mermaid cup or something that you put your own creativity into, don't, don't, um, y'all, don't identically do something to steal somebody's idea. Use it for inspiration and turn it into your own. But like the glue cup, you can't help but copy that. There, there ain't but so many ways you can make an Elmer's glue bottle, y'all. So, just be respectful of other people. Like the Elmer's glue file, that's not mine. I didn't make that. I bought it. Because I was too lazy to make it. But I can make it so y'all can use it. But because of the original artist, I can't give you her file. Because that takes money from her. So, I'll make my own. The font will be a little different. I'll make my own so my people can use it. And there you go. Just sent you a video link on Facebook. Thank you, Lori. I don't know what I'd do without you. Um, so, yeah, y'all. I'm not going to hide nothing. You do. And you know, I firmly believe I'm going to grow as a small business because I sow seeds into other small businesses. You know, you reap what you sow. So what I sow into you guys, knowledge, how to cut corners, how to be cheap, I will reap from that because I get to watch you grow. I might not make money off of it, but knowing that you're growing and you're able to use it to provide for your family, I'm all for it. Jackie, I just want to throw this at you. Okay, Jackie, throw it. I'll catch it. That's right, Laura. That's exactly right. Y'all don't be greedy. What you gonna throw at me? Jackie's... I saw it. Um, Tide pop. Yeah, we might could do that. I'm waiting, Jackie. She about to throw it. Have a good day, Veronica. Thank you, Kathleen. Debbie, we were making this. Donuts. Yeah, you gonna throw some donuts? Oh, child. Yes, throw some donuts my way. Powdered. This is what we're making. Trina's gonna help me get my stuff straight straightened out with YouTube. Y'all throwing donuts this way? Like, I'll take them. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Oh, a beehive. Let me read that, Kristen, because I got aggravated because I Oh, <laughs> just search my name. Put my name in the search. It'll come up. So, y'all, we got one more day to the weekend. Um, Leanne, I'm trying to remember. I want to say it was like Toxic Illusions. I know that's probably wrong. Um, but I'll see if I can find it. I'll pull up my groups and find it. So, y'all, that's it. I'm going to seal it, put the first coat of Mod Podge on, wet sand it, put my water slides on, seal it, 
and then last layer of epoxy. You're welcome, Leanne. Y'all, thank you for, I know this was super early this morning, but we're supposed to get a lot of rain. You just did what, about 28 bags of donuts? Trina, shut your mouth. Did you really? I need somebody to throw one my way. Yeah, there'll be a replay, Lana. Thank you, Jackie. Yes, um, after the first coat of epoxy, I will have to sand it. Yeah, y'all, I'd rather give than receive, to be honest with you. I don't get paid to do this. I'm an admin of this group. I could be doing a thousand other things. But you guys asked about the, the glittering. So why not show you if I have the cups to do? Do you Just the water slide, Paula. Yay, graduation class. I didn't graduate. I graduated college a couple years ago. I still qualify for some donuts. Because, uh, Stacy, it's a glitter cup. And they're going to be little pieces of glitter sticking up. And it's going to be rough. So I wet sand it. Y'all know me. I'm going to be real. It's early. Yeah, Jackie, search my name. I did, um, I did a water slide tutorial. Oh, Jennifer, good for you. Pre-law. That's good. Push through. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get these other um, Elmer's cups going. And then I think I'll go live and do a dirty pour. Um, yeah. Almost time to really adult. Yeah. Hey, Echo. So... I'll send out a post if I'm if I'm, I'm able to go on a dirty do a dirty pour. Um, I'll send out a post letting you know, hey, going live in 15, 20 minutes, whatever. I need to get these cups going because these are actual orders. So I'm gonna get those going and everything, and then I'll try to hop back on. Super a dirty pour is super easy. Like it, it really is easy. So, y'all look for that. Do you only use water slide? No, Jen, I use a, a different. I use whatever. Uh, water slide, um, vinyl, whatever is easiest for me. You're welcome, Sandy. Yes, Kathleen, dirty pour. You sure can, Kimberly. Thank you, Lori, for all your help. Have a good day, Brandy. You're welcome, Cindy. Thank you. Have a good day. You have an awesome day, too, Denise. So, Trina's going to help me with the face um, Facebook stuff. Um, Kimberly, no, you can just message me. I, I just, um, just message me. You're welcome, Rosalie, anytime. All right, so y'all guys have a fabulous Thursday. I'm going to go eat some powdered donuts, get these cups going now that I'm hungry and my stomach is growling. So I appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys jumping on with me in the morning, in the evening, whenever sporadically, whenever I join in or go live. Yeah, right? Um, so thank you for standing behind me. I really appreciate it. And, um, again, y'all know how to reach me if you need any help. You know how to get a hold of me if you need any help. So, y'all have a good Thursday, and I'll see y'all in just a little bit for the Dirty Pour. Okay, bye, y'all.